Okay, I have to record this while it's still fresh for you. And so today you said um, basically what you were saying about, you know, you're not even enjoying your job right now, something along those lines, right? And the next one's gonna be even harder. So you're not even sure if you want it. Here's what I wanna to say to you. I have just, okay, let me try it again. So my coach has this rule. I'm not doing it unless it's fun. And I've heard this for a long time ago and I actually was coached on that and I was told about like eight months ago, if it's not fun, don't do it. And I understood it with my head, but I didn't learn that lesson on my, like, on my skin until now because I was doing everything and not having fun. And now that I've learned that it does not work if you're not having fun. And not only doesn't it work, you basically are digging your own hole, getting more miserable, and you are basically waiting to get that validation, to feel that approval. You're waiting to feel better on the other end when you get that next thing that next job, another client, right? So for me, it's been, I was just coaching that yesterday and the person asked me, why do you want to make 30K? Cause my goal for this year is 30K. And I stumbled because the answer was, I don't want to make 30K. And the next sentence for me was, I only want to make it if it's fun. And like, I just want to plant that seed in your head and so it starts growing. So that in case you can implement it now, fantastic. But save it for later when you are even more miserable. If, if you're not having fun, right? And if you're still trying to do it. Basically, it doesn't work. For, and because my coach has another thing that she teaches us is, you know, you'd still take action despite negative emotion, right? So even if you feel nervous, you still go to an interview, right? makes sense totally makes sense but there is a, a way to make take it even further that I took that completely took out all of the fun right like so if you are now approaching this interview process and you are so miserable and you don't even want that job anymore you sucked out all the fun out of it just by the way you're thinking about it and the way the way you're doing it is not fun here's the, and here's the thing what makes it fun? That's another mind blowing thing because we are the ones making it fun. So here's a trick, right? So because I didn't learn this overnight, it took me like eight months to, to literally be super miserable and not get any results I want and to struggle and not have fun. Then now, where was I going with this? That now, now that I learned this and I am having fun like I oh so now now that I learned this lesson and now I realize okay so there's no point in doing this if it's not fun and if I'm the one who makes it fun then the question becomes so clear how can I make it more fun and I am on this freaking amazing journey of how can I make this fun because it hasn't been fun like and you know, it's kind of like slowly getting those gears going. Like first you're like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But as you keep trying to answer that question, and I've been trying to answer them in all the small ways. Like I just went to tennis and I'm like, how can I make this exercise more fun? And I just started whacking it out of the, like super hard and it was so fun that actually it worked actually even better. So like all the small ways, like how can, Playing with the kids and be more fun. How can driving be more fun? Like, how can how can I make this fun? Now that is a great question, way to solve it, right? Because we still want the things we want, right? I still want to hit my goal, but I'm not willing to hit it at the price of my well-being and happiness and sanity. Like, who needs money when you're miserable and you feel like you're a terrible person and you're not good enough, right? I don't want that. And so. When we take that goal, like your next job or my goal, what we really want is 
the person, like we don't want that goal at expense, at any expense, right? We want that goal while it's fun, right? Like, that's why some women don't go for the career that they want because they assume that's gonna, and they like take on the, the culture assumption of some like industries like finance, for example, that if I want this in the career, I'm going to have to never see my family. So they don't even go for it. But we, of course, as life coaches challenge them. We say, okay, how can I do this career and see my family and make it fun? Right? Because once you start really answering the question, you will always find answers. I don't, the only way to, to block that is to say, I don't know. Whew, I'm really out of breath. So I, and the best part is that you really like you, for me to have, for me to do that, to say, okay, I'm going to have fun with this or I'm not doing it. I had to say, first I had to say, I'm not doing this. Like I literally said, okay, you know what? Forget it. I'm not going to do this goal because I'm killing myself over it and it's just not worth it to me. I started painting, I started drawing, I started doing things that I enjoy. I started doing less social and media, like started taking care of myself and slowly by bit by bit, I started feeling better. And now I am like, I kind of like that, got that moving and I'm accessing the fun in such a different way in my business that this fun thing really works, okay? All right, so for you, how can you make this dating your next job fun, right? How can you think of it in a way that's fun? And, f and another trick that I did for me, okay, if I'm like, fun, I'm not having fun, right? And if you forgot how, what that's like, I asked myself, what did I think used to be fun, right? What was fun before? And then I found ways, right? So for you, what, what, what were the things that you found fun before when you were daydreaming about the job or like anything? And of course, let's, let's keep it real. This is an interview process for a job. We don't want it to feel like we're not, I mean, we're not trying to going for rainbows and daisies, right? We're, you know, this is something you're doing that's uncomfortable and scary. And you're putting yourself out there and you're being vulnerable and you're doing hard things. And actually that's the part of the part of the process that I find fun is doing hard things, doing scary things, doing hard things because you feel fucking like a badass afterwards. Now that's fun, right? So that's how, that's how you can find fun in doing hard, uncomfortable things. But you have to remind yourself about that, right? And it doesn't feel fun before, it feels fun after. Before you feel scared and brave. After you do it, you feel badass, right? And so, now that you've done an interview that you think you did badly at, I want you to put it down in your file of epic fails. And that file needs to grow. The more epic fails you have, that, that's just, that increases the rate of success that you have, right? It's like dating. The more dates you go on, the higher the chance that you're gonna meet that guy, right? The more interviews you go on, the higher the chance you give yourself to get that job. And they're gonna feel, and the only, Thing that makes it a failure is how you feel about it which is the thought that's it it actually is not a failure it's either winning or learning so right now you're thinking that was losing but really it was a lot of learning right all right how can you have fun with this and you don't have to do it if it's not fun okay